One of the challenges of no-till farming is, is bed preparation, and so we've developed um, uh, some systems for preparing our beds, um, specifically without doing a lot of bending over, without bending over and pulling plants by hand, um, just to maintain our bodies and maintain the bodies of our workers, because we want to be we want our farm to go for as long as we can, and we, we, we don't want to like have our workers um, end up with back problems and other things from doing farm work at our farm. Um, so we've tried to develop systems where we can use tools that will take some of the stress off of our bodies. And I'm just going to go through some of the different tools that we're going to use and how we prep beds. And generally, if we're doing a small crop up to, say, um, large bok choy and green beans will prep beds by um, weed whacking the beds with either a string tr trimmer or more often with a brush cutter blade. I have a string trimmer right here because it's, it's what's handy. We're going to just do these two beds here and I'll start by taking the string trimmer and trimming right down to soil level any weeds that are growing in the pathway as I walk this way. The string trimmer is always going to want to push stuff to the left. That's kind of generally how they're designed. And so next, I'm going to work on trimming this upper bed right down to soil level. And all this spinach is going to end up in the pathway mixed with some soil. And that's where it's going to stay and decompose. So generally our goal is to remove most of the greenery off the bed. We don't have to get it perfectly clean. We just want to get most of it off so that it's not robbing nitrogen as it decomposes. Um, and all that root matter is going to stay in the ground. So now at this point we're going to come back through with a tilther. We're going to tilt this bed and um, then after that we'll plant it. So at this point, I'm just going to do a quick pass through because this was a paper potted bed and get out as much of the paper as I can just with a rake. I won't get out all of it and that's not really the goal, it's just getting what's going to come out easily. We're going to paper pot some radish into this bed here and we're going to do a, a really light application of ProGrow which is made by North Country Organics. They're, um, they've been making organic uh, fertilizers and amendments um, I think since like 1983 and they're just like right down the road from us which is awesome. Um, ProGrow is kind of a complete fertilizer. With our soil test this year it's kind of working well um, for what we need in the soil this year. Um, and for the radish we're just going to give it a really light application just to give it a little bit of boost. It doesn't really need much fertility. Um, so I'll just actually do a yogurt scoop and a half per 45 foot bed. Okay so after we put our amendments in we're going to use the tilther from Johnny's to make a good, um, good soil tilt that'll work well for the paper pot transplanter. Okay, so we just prepped this bed um, for, um, we, did, we had spinach in it, we just turned it over and then right away we're going to plant some paper pot French breakfast radish into it. Um, these are some of the last seedlings that are going to be going out for this year into the ground, um, given the time of year. The paper pot transplanter is a super valuable tool for us. Like all the tools we use, it's a little bit harder on the hillside, and especially in this situation when we're right on the edge of a bed, um, this first row we tend to have to move pretty slowly with the planter and control it so it doesn't slide off the edge of the bed, which is just one of the realities of hillside farming. Okay, so I'm just filling in the last little bits um, of uh, paper pots that didn't plant well. And uh, this is one of the ways we flip beds at Small Axe Farm. So we weed whack, we rake it off, we use a tilther, and then in this case we're paper pot planting right into it. Um, and we do, do most of this process without having to bend over, and that's a really critical thing for us is that we can do most of it upright and we just have to bend over at the end if we need to fix something. Um, but we're not down there pulling things by hand all day. Mm -hmm.